guys, it's Everything Apple Pro here. A very quick video. I've had so many requests from people that have updated to the new iOS 10. They found that they don't like it, the performance just isn't up to their standard, and they want to go back to iOS 9. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that without losing your data. It is so simple, I mean, ridiculously easy. So a couple things I want to get out of the way first. First off, if you have a backup on iOS 10, you will not be able to restore to it on iOS 9. But if you have an iOS 9 one, of course, after downgrading, you can restore back to it. So just want you guys to know that, you know, you should probably get all your data off, all your photos, contacts, messages, all that if you've already overwritten your iOS 9 backup with iOS 10. And if you guys are on iOS 10 right now and you want to stay on it, but are unsure of the future of the betas, let me tell you this. So you guys will be able to update from your phone beta to beta but when the final version comes yes you will be able to update in most cases from iOS 10 beta to the final version last year with iOS 9 beta to the final iOS 9 release I was able to do that so uh, very simple stuff guys let's go ahead and show you how to do this so first off I'll link you down below in the description to a website where you can go ahead and download the file of your choosing make sure to get 9.3.2 so once you have that downloaded we're gonna open up iTunes make sure your device is trusted by iTunes and all that so let's go to our device tab right here here. And yes, you can be on the latest version of iTunes. It does not matter. On your keyboard, you guys want to hold the option button and left click on check for update. Now go to wherever that download file is and select it. And it'll ask you if you want to go ahead and update to 9.3.2. Technically, we're downgrading, but using this method, you guys will be able to preserve all of your files that are on here. Now, in some rare, rare cases, this might not work. You might get an error, but you know, this has worked for me every single time. Now the option click obviously is for a Mac. If you're on Windows, you're gonna shift and left click on check for update. And uh, obviously I'm on a Mac, so that's not working for me. So it's option. Now, if you guys want to restore your device, get a clean restore of iOS 9, you would obviously do restore iPhone. But using this method, all of your data will be saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and show you the results in just a second. Now you guys will probably have a carrier update in iTunes. You wanna go ahead and do it once your device sets up here because you're going from iOS 10 to iOS 9. There will be a difference in the way uh, your phone responds to carrier networks and all that. So go ahead and do that. And in a moment here, this should be all set up and I will show you I have all of my data preserved. All right, and you'll know it worked because you have your iOS 10 wallpaper, but you are now on iOS 9. So slide over, all my apps are still here. All of my photos should still be here, which I had not on here, but yeah, there you go, guys. It is very, very simple. You can go ahead and run that carrier update now and you guys are golden. So thanks so much for watching. Just a quick way how to uninstall iOS 10 if you weren't liking it. Again, at any time you can go ahead and install it again in future betas if the release does get more stable. Thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.